Hello, you join me today at my incredibly messy desk to replace the RAM in this Dell Inspiron 3793 Reg model P35E or Reg type P35E007. It's a 17 inch laptop. And this one has a Core i3 processor and also has faulty RAM. So the first thing I'm going to do take out the CD drive, which is that screw there. And then keep that safe somewhere. There are different lengths of screws on this machine, so when you're taking them apart, make sure you remember or put them in a map of where they come from. Some of them are also captive, so they stay within the case. Some of them are not. So that one there is captive. That one there is also captive. That one's captive. That one is captive. That one there has come out. So, as I say, be aware that some, but not all, stay within the case. That one there is another captive screw. Once you've done all these black screws on the underside plastic, where the CD drive was, there are two further silver screws. And I think that should be it. We're now ready to try and get the case or the cover off of the machine. Now, because we've undone these screws, there is a hinge here, which is now not really very well held on. So we do need to open the computer up, and to do so, I would recommend trying to keep as much pressure on these corners as possible when opening the machine. So I'm probably going to have to do this off camera because I'm going to use my chin to uh, push this, the lid open whilst using my uh, fist to keep those corners held together. Okay, so I've got that open quite a bit. I'm going to again keep push down on those corners <clears throat> and open the machine. Now we need a thin knife or a spudger or something plastic that isn't going to damage the case. Run it along the sides. To unclip it, and again along the front as well. So now that's most of the case unclipped. 
I need to close it again. Once again, trying to keep the, uh, the hinges under as much pressure as possible. And then flip the computer over. Now it is uh, just unclipping the rest of it, gently wiggling it, trying not to break any plastic tabs there maybe, so just did lots of wiggling around there rather than just kind of wrenching it upwards and that's come undone. So those, as I say, some of these screws are captive, they stay in there and I can wobble that around and the screws don't fall out. And here we have the computer. So what is inside here, which is useful for a lot of people to know, you've got the, uh, interestingly it comes with the caddy for the serial ATA hard disk and even the serial ATA uh, connector. So you could put, at least in this model, which didn't come with a hard disk, you could put a hard disk in as well. Over here you've got the uh, SSD, one, one RAM, which is faulty, wireless card here, CPU will be under here, and the cooler and the fan for it. What other interesting things? That will be the keyboard connector. And that's uh, I think probably all the interesting things. Got BIOS battery over here. And then the main battery there. So back to the task at hand, which is a warranty replacement. It was quite difficult to get Dell to send me this part. They were keen on, uh, and in fact did, do their collect and return. Collected the machine, and then told me that they don't have the spare parts available to repair it. And then they sent the machine back to me, and then offered the customer a refund. However, the refund amount wouldn't cover the cost of an equivalent machine from Dell because prices have gone up since they bought. So we rejected that and then funnily enough I then said could you send me the part and I'll fit it and miraculously the RAM, the part, was available. So I don't know why they couldn't do this at their repair centre. So now I'm spending my time rather than Dell's warranty time to repair this. So I've taken out the uh, old RAM, here is the new RAM, Securely installed and then clicked down into place. I do need to send the faulty RAM back to Dell. I'll package that up and uh, put it in the box in a moment and now we can put the machine back together. So once again, it's not really ideal trying to push these things down when they've not been, or sorry, screw these things down when they've not been fully pushed or clipped back in. Um, I can do some of this without opening the machine. But when I get to this back bit here, Annoyingly, I'm going to have to open the machine up again whilst trying to keep pressure on where the hinges are. So yeah, here goes again. And once again, I'm going to have to use my face to open this up whilst using both my hands to uh, clamp where the hinges are.
Okay, so I've gone round the entire case, clicking down as much as I can. Now again, it's closing the lid whilst uh, putting as much pressure where the hinges are as possible. And now, screw it all back together. And I say take great care doing the screws up around these hinges because they're very important. They hold the uh, screen onto the bottom of the machine and if they're not done up tightly it'll cause the uh, metal bracket on the screw to wiggle around and will fatigue the plastic around that bracket and eventually crack. Okay, all screwed together, just need the CD drive now, or DVD drive. Just go around making sure that all the edges are securely clipped down in all the places they should be. Seems like it, we're all good here. And the machine has battery left in it, which is good. And there we go, it's booting up. So, job well done. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.